Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Luke chapter 12, verse 17, as well as Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 8. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word. We thank you for your love for us, Jesus. Bless it and help us to have wisdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Luke chapter 12, verse 17. And he thought to himself, what shall I do? For I have nowhere to store my crops. All right, and then the second verse that the Lord gave me was Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 8. And they plotted together to come and fight against Jerusalem and cause confusion in it. All right, and so... The thing that the Lord was dealing with me about these two scriptures is that the first one is talking about not knowing how much time you have and investing in the kingdom and not in yourself. And so here in Luke 12, 17, it says, he thought to himself, what shall I do for I have nowhere to store my crops. So this abundance that he had should have gone towards the things of God, right? Or towards the poor, or towards doing something to affect and have a good return in the kingdom. But instead, he chose to invest in himself and build bigger barns and relax and and not, not do anything for God. All right. And so this second one, um, Nehemiah 4.8, is talking about the confusion that was going on against Nehemiah um, with Sambalot and the people who were trying to stop the kingdom from getting the wall built and just the kingdom from progressing forward. And so um, when you can play these two together and you're, you're, you're talking about um, the spiritual warfare that goes on um, to stop the progression of the kingdom, but also the, the spiritual warfare in the individual that's trying to take your focus from the kingdom. So the things around us that um, cause us to, instead of looking at God, look at this world, look at um, coveting, look at um, desiring things that we don't have, and, and that stopping the progression of the building of the kingdom. So God is wanting us to keep our focus at this time. He's wanting us to keep, keep seeking him and seeking his face and planting seeds into the building of the kingdom and not into the building of our own kingdoms, our own lifestyles, um, looking like others, being like others, accumulating wealth. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. We love you. We give you praise. We ask you to keep our heart focused on you and not on ourselves. Help to keep our investments focused in your kingdom and not just accumulating wealth, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make, well, let me give an invitation. If there's anybody out there who would like to receive Christ as their Lord and Savior, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Jesus, for doing this. Give me for all my sins. In your name I pray, Jesus. Amen. All right, you guys, if you pray that prayer and believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one else can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he is going to show you the way he's going to lead you down the path he, that God has for you. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children this peace. Take care.